All right, let's start building. Um, in this first step, um, we're going to need to have our masking tape and our acrylic cement. Uh, mine looks a little funny because uh, I'm using one of those uh, applicator tips that we talked about, and I'm also using a small uh, applicator needle to keep the hole plugged when I'm not cementing, which can keeps my cement from turning solid in the nozzle. So if uh, those are supplies that you have on hand, I suggest you do the same. Uh, if not, just make sure to keep the cap on your cement um, whenever you're not actually applying cement. And that'll keep you from getting a rubbery bubble of, uh, of uh, half-cured cement at the end of your, of your tube. So the first step of construction, we're going to put together the actual box. And since we're building the box first, we'll have a good reference point um, throughout the construction for what we're actually making. Um, starting with the parts, we're going to use um, what we call the base panel, which is this part, and um, you want to put that in about the center of your work area with this tab on the right side, and these two uh, slots here should be along the, the bottom edge, so if it doesn't look like that, just flip it until it does. The next piece we'll need is what we call the uh, front panel of the machine, and this is the one that has a whole lot of crazy holes in it. Um, it's symmetrical this way, so it doesn't matter how it's positioned necessarily, but you do want to align these horizontal slots here with the tabs in the base panel. In similar fashion, we're going to do what we call the rear panel, which is the back of the machine. Uh, again, you'll want to have these uh, horizontal tabs lined up with the slots in the base panel, and this round hole, which is for cable access, uh, that'll be on your left side. So if it doesn't look like that, again, just flip it. Next is a side panel, which is the side of the box, and uh, this one here uh, goes on the left hand, your left hand side, uh, and you'll want to line its slot up with the tab, but as you can see here, we don't have, we have something that looks like it's not going to be a box, and in this case, that's as simple as just flipping this over, uh, so that when the tab and slot are aligned, um, it looks a lot more box-like. This is um, the same piece as this side panel, however, this one has uh, an access port in it that we'll use later. Uh, on our finished crow box, you'll be able to reach inside and, and do maintenance and get at things, which ends up being pretty important. And its tab lines up with this longer slot here, and uh, as you can see, this sort of squares off as well. So we look like we have parts that we'll be able to, to fold up uh, into a box, which means everything's aligned properly. The last piece we have is uh, what we call the servo spine. Um, this is going to be used sort of in a temporary fashion, temporary fashion in this step. Uh, we're going to um, put this into the assembly so that things stay uh, aligned and um, rigid, but we're not actually going to cement that. So this step is uh, pretty easy. We need to peel some parts first. Um, we are not going to peel the servo spine, and we are not going to peel the front panel in this step, so let's put those aside. These other four pieces, however, we need to peel. So we'll get started on that, and we'll run the video quickly here so you don't have to watch me do this. but you will have to do it at, on your side at real time. Okay, now with our peeling done, um, we can begin to move on. So before we do that, I wanted to discuss one thing, which is that the Crowbox kit is designed for a two-tone color scheme. Um, in this case, what well, we call it light and dark throughout the documentation, so, or, and possibly this video as well. So it's worth mentioning that in this case, uh, the green plastic is our dark color, and the khaki-colored plastic is our light color. Um, so. We've got those guys peeled now on both sides, and we've left um, the servo spine and the front panel unpeeled. Um, one of the reasons for that is because we're not actually going to apply any cement to either of those parts. So leaving the paper on protects us just in case we forget uh, not to apply any cement. So we're going to bring this all up into an assembly now, uh, and the way to begin that is to lift the back panel up, drop the tabs from the base panel into that, let that bring the box kind of up here. 
And the next step, you want to just sort of slip the side panel into its slot here. And once you have a little bit of an assembly like that, take a little bit of your masking tape and secure it. Just enough that it doesn't fall apart on us while we're trying to put the other pieces in. Uh, we'll have a chance to refine the shape of the box before we actually cement anything. So bring the next panel up the same way, side panel that is, just like that. Made it with the tabs in the back panel. And get a piece of uh, masking tape on it, just enough to hold it together for now. Again, we're not trying to perfect the shape of the box, just stop it from clattering to pieces on the bench as we work. So for the next step, I recommend rolling the box onto its back like this. And we're going to insert the servo spine where it belongs, which is uh, into these two slots in the back. And uh, you'll notice that the servo spine actually is tabbed out in such a way that it can't go in backwards. So if you can't get it in, just turn it around like this. And we're going to kind of let that hang there and work the, um, the front panel into place. So the way that I find it's best to do this is to start again with the tabs at the base there and uh, just let everything kind of float into place. And uh, you'll need to lift the front panel probably in order to get the servo spine into its slots on the front, which are right there. It's a lot more helpful if you can look straight down onto it. Just like that. So it looks like everything is in. So we're having a problem here with the servo spine that I was hoping we wouldn't have, but we do. Which is that the paper makes it just a little too thick to go into the tabs that we've cut for it. So I'm going to have to actually peel a little bit of it from both ends. This is um, something that may or may not affect you depending on the particular thickness of your plastic sheets and how they were laser cut. It's not something that um, is always the same size for everyone. So, um, you know, you may or may not have to do what I'm doing now. But if they don't fit, peel just the ends of them, which should just protect us against our own cement, just in case we get some in the wrong place. That's not a lot of fun to peel. this back on its back. It we'll lower the servo spine in as it belongs and this time you don't expect any trouble from it. Again we'll thread this front panel. Just keep everything kind of floating until we can get that in position. Okay so as you can see now the servo spine is actually going to help us make the shape of the box. Before we can do that, we need to get the some more things secured here with the masking tape. So I'm going to secure the side panels to the front panel, like this. Just tape it a couple edges. And just proceed kind of around the box, uh, adding tape to spots that aren't holding together as we'd like, and get them to do so. Obviously, place and replace masking tape until you're happy. It's a squeaky little box this time. So this should continue, just go around the box, uh, taping and tightening tape until um, everything is nice and square, nice and solid, and you feel like if you were to cement it that it would stay how you asked it. A couple minor issues with this here.
So that looks like a pretty good box to me. So, you know, if you've reached this point, you're now kind of holding what's going to become your crow box. So, we're going to cement this now, and uh, we're going to start on the underside like this. So, what you want to do is tap your box down. Make sure that it's not sort of... If you tap it down like this onto your bench, then you know you've squared it off with something level and your box doesn't have a twist in it. Um, the next thing we want to do is tap, tap, tap the base plate down, to, base panel, I should say, down toward the table also. All right, so we're going to cement three sides of this now. You don't have to mark this. I'm going to mark it for the sake of this video, but it's not necessary for you to mark on yours. But these three edges here are going to receive cement in this step but not this front edge because the front edge contains our front panel and our front panel is something that will need to come off again before we're done, before we're ready to cement it in place. So let's get started. We're going to put this bead of cement down. Just kind of follow the line. You want to inject the cement into the gap if you can and also touch the two edges. This joint will be backed up later with hot glue, but the cement is our first line of defense and our first, uh, our primary bond, so I suggest you just kind of take it slow, do the work neatly. After the cement is applied, I find it's a good idea to tape over the cement. And by over, I mean over, like bring the tape over it, leave an air gap under the tape there, but get a, a decent bond between the tape and the plastic parts without, try, without disturbing the cement if you can. And this will just help pull everything into a nice tight box. Uh, in this step, which should give us a higher quality, nice square box for our other steps. I use two pieces on this side just because uh, there's a tab to be straddled. work this a little bit, just a little bit, you can get the cement to go down into the cracks and the surface. Now, this part needs to be set aside for a little while for the cement to dry. Um, we don't need the cement to dry completely, just enough that um, we can move on, that it's not liquid anymore. So I would set this aside for 15 or 20 minutes, but we actually have some other stuff we can build in the meantime um, so that we don't have to sit doing nothing uh, waiting for glue to dry. So we'll talk about that in just a second. 